Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so on my blog earlier this year, I had posted um, an article on how to maximize your iPhone 3G's uh, battery life. But I just thought I would also add a video along with that little article. The article was posted on Gizmodo.com. But um, if you really don't want to uh, read, then um, I'll basically give you the the 10 tips that they give on video. So this is credit to them just doing a video and uh, tips that also help me um, get the most battery life out of my phone as well. So um, most of the adjusting that you'll do will be in settings. Um, the first one, so I'm using Supreme settings, the first one is um, your brightness. Um, now, I'm sure it would be nice to have a battery that could last while the bar was up here. But um, normally it just has to be about right here. That's where I'm always keeping it. My auto brightness is on. You can turn it off. It'll just stay that way. But um, if I'm in the sun or something, it might give me a little bit brighter light. So I just keep it at that. It's really normal use. I mean... I can see it. Anyone who uses my phone sees it. It really doesn't need to be that bright. And if you really want, just move it up a little bit. But um, know that your battery life might be affected. And the second one is um, Wi-Fi. If you're not in a place where um, Wi-Fi, you know, you're in the car or uh, something, then um, you could just go ahead and turn it off. And that might help you um, get a little bit more um, battery of the day. Maybe not too much. I mean, I always forget if I'm leaving. I always just have it on. But, um, you know, if you want better life, just turn it off. Um, let's see. The third one, if you're on uh, AT&T, which I obviously am not, then uh, one thing that you could do is uh, enable 3G, turn it off. If, uh, you know, you're not really using it, you're just, you know, it's a Saturday and all you're doing is just texting or something and you don't need it for emails, internet, and plus if you're at home and you have Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, um, you get better battery life using Wi-Fi than you do with 3G. So you can go ahead and turn that off when you're not using it, that'll give you, um, some good uses there. Um, let's see. The location services as well. Um, those two, that way you're not using the, the GPS that the iPhone is obviously provided with. So right there, location services, you could just go ahead and turn it off if you're not using it. Um, like I said, not a big thing, but, you know, just still have it off. Bluetooth, if you have Bluetooth when you're not using it, turn it off. Bluetooth has also been known to suck some juice out as well. Um... Another thing, uh, buying apps and songs, you know, in the iTunes and App Store. Um, it's best if you buy them over Wi-Fi if you have to use the App Store. But other than that, um, just use the iTunes Store in iTunes and just transfer them over. Uh, it's easier. And if you're not having to use the 3G, then it'll be um, it'll be much more better for you. And if you really have to have it, I kind of suggest waiting for Wi-Fi. Um, another thing is your auto lock. Um, they say it's best to set, I obviously just had it set to never, but um, it's best if you have it set to like a minute, like say you're texting, but you know, then you went on Facebook and um, you know, you forgot to hit the little lock switch. Just, um, you know, set it to a minute. It'll, it'll help with the battery life. Um, one or two minutes is the best. Um, games with 3D, like the 3D rendering, um, Need for Speed, uh, Super Monkey Ball, games like that. I think the rendering, the, um, that article on Gizmodo says that using the graphics chips, uh, it will crank up the power usage. Um, so that could or could not be, but I do notice that when I play a game like that, even if it's for like 15 minutes, my battery goes down to like 75%. <laughs> Another thing 
is um, your fetch new data. Um, push, if push is on, you know, your phone is basically constant, constantly looking for uh, new emails and all that other stuff. So what I do is, I have mine set to every three hours, but I mean if you're a businessman, businesswoman, I think every, uh, every, well, every 30 to hourly, every 30 minutes to hourly is good. If you're hardcore business, uh, you know, anywhere from 15 and up is good. I have just mine set at three hours. Um, and, uh, the last thing that I could say is just, you know, using, um, you know, every time you're near somewhere where you could get some juice for your iPhone, just, uh, you know, helps to help, will help it stay charged. And um, if you're a jail broken, you know, you're using a jailbroken iPod, and you're one of the people who use um, SSH, um, a good thing is to have that turned off because, um, from what I heard everywhere here, it like sucks a lot of juice out of your uh, iPhone. So uh, those are little tips that you can use. You know, help get better battery life. See, I'm barely starting to go um, down in juice. Um, but yeah, just you could use those tips if you weren't, um, if you were looking on ways how to get better battery life, or if you're thinking about purchasing one of those, you know, those little, uh, you know, like the juice packs and stuff that you put on your phone, uh, which are good, but they are around eighty dollars, and that is a little pricey. So you could just use these tips and. See if they uh, see if they help you, and you know maybe you won't end up having that to get that. But um, the link to the article would be in the sidebar, and also links to Twitter, um, email, and my blog as well. Um, subscribe if you like, and uh, thank you for watching.